it's been what two weeks that we have this exchange, you and I, where you send me a picture of a visual delight yes. taken in the village every yes. day as you are fighting this quarantine and yet trying to get some exercise and some daylight. Yes. What do you see? What what makes you oh. see the images that you're choosing for our journal? Well, clearly something that it maybe I can't say excites excites me. No, something that is very beautiful, and I you know I love beauty. Um, throughout my life, for example, I always have loved flowers or and, and a people's garden. What do you think about this evolution that? We can observe where at the beginning you are very focused on flowers and nature and now... And architecture. Well, the truth being that, I mean, the truth is that I'm always more interested in the people and expression because I think also, you know, you see so many pictures of lovely flowers and lovely trees. That bothers me. I mean, it bothers me because I think, well, then I'm not being very original. I felt it was um, rounding us back to appreciating the small things in some ways. You were always the one that could put beauty on people in particular, but I felt that, you know, in those times where there was not that many people around, the fact that, you know, we're focused on like simpler things which are very important to you, which are flowers, which flowers. is your name, <laughs> I yeah. think that, that was very beautiful. This is my favorite. So Donna Karen, husband died of cancer, and he was a sculptor, and in his place is just up the block from the river, and she gave that apple, which uh, he had sculpt, you know, made as a sculpture, to the city of New York in honor of him because he passed away. So tell me about the two that you did, the best the women. I thought she definitely was very imaginative. She was walking with her friend, and so I just simply said, I would like to take your photo, and I don't even think I said I'm professional or not. I kind of like the brick building behind her, which to me always represents the village, these charming uh, private homes. Mm -hmm. but, but the emphasis was on her. Maybe she was a dancer. She seemed to be a bit in that category, but I never asked for any information. So I have nothing to tell you except, yes, I think she was just pleased. It was a very, a very sweet moment. That's all I can say. Tell me about the woman with the scarf. So, but what's very strange about that, I did the same thing. I really cropped it, cropped it to just come in because I thought it was a very interesting pattern. And then my brother, which is really odd. Remember, he's in Florida with his wife. He says, the picture reminds me of our mother. Hmm. And when he said that, I said, oh, no, no, not really. And then I looked again, and there's a certain kind of look in the eyes that had some resemblance. So, yeah. Speaking about your mother, what, what advice would you give to your younger self? Knowing everything you know now. Oh, my God. Well, probably not to fall in love with the, so many of these young men, many of them European who were kind of passing through, to have maybe focused on having a relationship that would last. Because I have this, I was in, about engaged to this young man studying psychology, but I met an Armenian artist, and he took me to MoMA, et cetera, et cetera, and talked so much about the art that I was so taken, so taken by him that I just ended my relationship with this man and who, yeah. So I kind of, you know, maybe I was never meant to have a family. I, I never wanted children, that's for sure. And I will say that the only thing I miss is I miss someone on Sunday. I would like to have a Sunday partner. Do you find that being creative again and doing what you love, which is taking pictures, helps you? Very little. 
Because again, you know, everyone who really knows me, I'm a very social person. And I love to know that I can go to my apartment and it'll be quiet. And I'm reading something like maybe T Magazine or Vogue or Condé Nast Traveler or a short story. I, but I love to, I love to go out and have interaction with somebody that I like. Yeah. And I, I, I miss that, like having lunch. What would you say, like, to people who, who feel a little bit, you know, down? Kind of, yeah, down and find it very difficult. Do you have, like, something to say to the world? Hang in. Yeah. Stay sane. You know, they keep saying, well, you should do drawings or collages or something. It was very hard for the first few weeks. I didn't do anything, you know. And um, so now I started to do this. And I would certainly recommend that everybody has their phone. Everyone can walk outside their house, staying away from others. 